you guys? It's your boy, Alex West Collects here, bringing you another figure review. Today, finally, 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 from MattelCreations.com, we have the 2021 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Ultimate Edition Sergeant Slaughter. That was a freaking mouthful, but he's finally here. I'm loving the way this figure's looking in packaging. Um, so if you did see my little teaser video on Instagram earlier today, I did show that one of them was the regular version. I did not open the second one. I don't know what's in there, so I will definitely do an unboxing as we go on through this video. But before we get to that, let's take a look at the actual shell itself. So there it comes in this packaging here as an homage to the old LJN throwback packaging. And we'll put this aside. You can see the beautiful image of Sergeant Slaughter on the front. It's got the Ultimate Edition. And just like uh, the Ultimate Edition figures, you usually have a little like uh, Easter egg on top. It says, and that's an order. On the bottom, it says, listen up, maggots. Looks very cool. And there's even more. So we'll, we'll take a look at the side profile. If we can get it in there. I know it's a little crowded. You got the American flag, Ultimate Edition. Even the little tab here says Cobra Clutch. That is very cool. A lot of detail went through this. Uh, props to Bruce Mode from the Mattel uh, Elite Squad. He did a hell of a job designing this package. You get the image of Slaughter on the other side with the American flag, the WWE logo. And even when you open it up on the inside, there's even more detail. So you see the crowd here. This is, an again, an homage to the old LJN uh, carding. And I'm going to assume that most of these guys are part of the Mattel Elite Squad or Mattel Design Team. Um, you can see there's Bill. Got Ravishing Robert right here. Corporate Steve, my good buddy. Um, and, you know, I'm sure there are a lot of guys and a lot of members to this team other than those three. Uh, you got Bruce Moore, part of the packaging. I'm going to sit here and say a huge shout out to all of those guys. Thank you so much for putting in all the hard work, um, you know, to bring us these figures. They really do bring a lot of joy to my heart, uh, and I'm sure a lot of collectors, you know, brings us back to a simpler time, you know, when we were younger and when wrestling was on fire. So I want to say a huge thank you to all those guys who work for Mattel and really put in a lot of hard work um, to make these figures possible. So um, moving on, uh, you can see it has Sergeant Slaughter on the side, which is very nice too. Uh, WWE logo on the back. Now moving on to the figure carding itself, you can see uh, it's got a little plastic shell. Got Sergeant Slaughter here, WWE logo, beautiful image, Ultimate Edition. So the accessories are actually hidden in this box underneath, so that's why you don't see them, um, you know, kind of within the packaging. Definitely looks a lot cleaner. Uh, and take a look at the back. Got the carding with the rest of the Ultimate Edition figures. Yes, there is no Brock Lesnar on the back. He was not part of uh wwe deal when this came out so that's why he is omitted from the back you can see if you want to take a look and pause for the read up got the nice little card you can trim out just like the throwback and i don't know if you guys can see it so this shell there's actually a plastic piece up top here and you can slide it out like so and you get this nice card carding i don't know if it opens up to anything just cardboard uh in between but very nice. Can be used for display if you're not a mock collector. Maybe put this on in your detolf. But looks very nice. I do like that. And before we actually get into the figure and actually take him out of the box, what do you say we open this guy up in here and see what's in there? You guys want to find out if we got a chase or we got another regular version? So put that slaughter to the side. Here comes the moment of truth. Got a nice opening here and what do you guys think chase or regular i hope it's the chase and oh it's another regular can't be too disappointed i'm happy just to even have this guy in my collection but there it is we got two of the regular versions so whoever does get a chase congrats to you guys because i'm sure they are very rare and hard to come by but let's get this box out of the way and remove sarge comes with this nice plastic shell Hold them in place. No rubber bands or anything on the back, so hopefully it should be easy to pop out. Definitely be a little careful with this guy. Take out the hat. Get rid of that shell. Oh man, so this is the first time I have him in hand. I honestly did not mess around with this guy at all before the review. So this is all kind of off the cuff, kind of first-hand impressions. Let's put them aside. Let's get the accessories out of the way and then we'll jump into the actual figure. So on the back, 
You can see the little plastic or cardboard. Is it cardboard? Yeah, it's cardboard. Comes out. Take that apart. Inside, you see all the accessories. Very nicely done. Let's get them out while we're here. We got the head, the interchangeable hands. There's another piece of, uh, I guess, plastic to hold the shirt in place or the jacket. Get that out of the way. Here's the jacket. Take a look on the inside. Very similar to uh, the jacket we got with Mr. T. Same material. And we will bring that figure in to take a look. I think this is called a riding coat. I don't remember. It's like the, the drill sergeant would hold that stick. I think it's called a riding coat. I got to check the back. But that's what that looks like. It's a little warped. Definitely going to have to heat it to strain it up. As far as the hands go, we'll get them out of this plastic shell. I'm surprised they all held up very nicely. None of them popped loose. I guess it was in the cardboard packaging, so maybe that's irrelevant. But hands-wise, you get a bunch. If you guys can see that, some nice pointing hands. You got two open hands, maybe like for saluting. Looks very cool. Two open glove hands. He's got the fisted hands on the figure. Let me dress him up and we'll come right back. And here we have Sarge all decked out in his gear. And let me make a quick correction. Like an idiot, I call this a riding coat. Like it's a damn British coming. It's called a riding crop. So that is the correct terminology for his stick. It's a riding crop. Um, but take a look at the rest of the figure. So we did go through all those interchangeable hands. You get about three, four sets of those. Uh, he does also come with an interchangeable head. Which has got more of a pissed off look. Obviously the riding crop. Which... You know, it's supposed to be real flexible, but it does kind of uh, get stuck in a kind of bendy position because it's so soft. But something that can easily be fixed by heating or unless you want to have him pose with it bending, that's also cool. The hat itself is something we've seen before. This is very similar to the Hall of Fame Sergeant Slaughter we had, except it's painted in brown. Same with the Legends 1. Um, it is a little warped, also needs a little, little heating to kind of get it to strain up, but looks nice you get so many accessories i mean there's more so you also do get a set of silver painted sunglasses again this is similar to the ones we've gotten in the past uh i think the hall of fame or legends one whatever the hall of fame version where they were just all black this is the silver painted around it looks very nice he does also come with his whistle which is an accessory you've seen in the past from mattel just be careful taking that. I feel like these, I've broken a few of these in the past, so I want to be careful when taking them out. It's kind of stuck to the back of his neck. Let's see if we can get that out without any issues. We'll just pop the head out even easier. That is the whistle. And we can put Sarge back together. He's got his head on. And we'll compare the other one. Man, I love both of these. Which one do you guys like better? The screaming one or the looking like kind of grunting one? You can't go wrong with either. They all got the little piece of hair on the front. I'll take a look at the back. He's all over top. He's balding a little bit. Same on the back end. And we'll get the jacket off. So that's pretty much it for the accessories. You do get quite a bit for a $35 figure. Uh, exclusive figure. This belt itself is also a separate piece. Just to note, it's not quite an accessory, but um, it's not kind of molded on. So I guess you can take that off if you want. And again, the heads. And if you're wondering what the other head looks like on this body, here it is. And you can see the more pissed off looking slaughter. Like he's coming after you, little maggots. Um, looks great. It's just such a nostalgic feel to this figure. I mean, even look at the, the gear itself. He's got the uh, USA on the front of his tank. Got the white belt. The black pants, he's got the sergeant logo on the actual boots. Uh, so it is the green with the black laces. It's got the black on the bottom. Does have that toe articulation too that we're uh, getting familiar with with the Ultimate Edition line. It's got the stripes on the side. Nothing on the back, same matching boot on the other side. 
He's got the red wrist tape. I mean, this just looks great. He also does have the added articulation with that butterfly joint. This looks very nice. I mean, I just can't complain about this figure. It looks so good. And I feel bad for everyone who wasn't able to get it. I know if I uh, had missed out, I'd be just as upset. So I'm not trying to rub this in your guys' faces at all. I was very lucky, you know. Uh, I went on the site just like everyone else did. I was able to get two. Um, very happy to have them. It just looks great. I mean, leave me speechless. If you guys want to see some of the accessories on this skin, we'll put the glasses back on. And the hat. Just looks so good. Uh, let's come back and we'll do some comparisons. So starting off our comparisons, let's look at packaging. So I feel like Mattel uh, definitely designed some great figures, but uh, their packaging team doesn't get enough credit. So I have the last two or last three uh, San Diego Comic-Con exclusive boxes. So uh, we have the Slim Jim Macho Man, which was one of my favorites. Uh, absolutely blown away by this uh, figure and packaging when it you know was first designed. I mean popping the insert out i never get to see this I, this has just really been sitting on the shelf i took obviously took savage out but i'm just look at that design just looks so good and then moving on to mr t very similar to the ultimate edition uh i don't know if i'm going to take this out because this you got to pop out from the top but um you can see the back of that packaging and then all the way moving on to the most recent one. Huge shout out to Bruce Mode designing these. These look great. And while we're at it, here are those San Diego Comic-Con exclusive figures. We have the Slim Jim Macho, Mr. T, of course, this year's Sergeant Slaughter. And in case you were wondering about the packaging, that's kind of how it looks when you kind of build it back together. Just slide this top piece back on and it looks like it's never been touched. I do love that feature from Mattel. And to just to note, so these... Three are not the only uh, Mattel WWE San Diego Com Comic Con exclusives that we've gotten. People seem to always forget when Mattel first got the line, they had a Ministry of Darkness Undertaker. And that is this figure right here. Kind of line them all up. Um, that also came with a really cool package design. I don't have it mock and didn't keep the packaging, but those are all the Mattel exclusive figures. And moving along, here is Sarge next to some other Ultimate Edition figures. On the left, we have my favorite figure of all time, the Ultimate Edition Series 7, Hollywood Hogan, Ultimate Edition Series 10, Rock, um, and Ultimate Edition Series 9, Stone Cold Steve Austin. And moving along, we have some real Americans. On the right, we have the brand new Survivor Series, Hulk Hogan. And on the left, we have the other American Sarge and Slaughter from the Hall of Fame line. And if you want to get in some comparisons of these two particularly, you can see the hats. Again, very similar. I'm going to try to heat it so this brown hat looks as straight as this one. Definitely looks uh, a lot better. I think the plastic is the same. Actually, this is... No, nah, it's, it's the same type of plastic. I was going to say maybe Mattel is using a softer plastic mold. But they feel about the same to me. Those are the hats. And you can see what I was talking about earlier in this review with the glasses. These are all black. The exclusive has the silver painted on there with a nice kind of shine to it on the black glasses. And popping them off, you can see the different head scans. Let me actually grab the alternate head. And there it is. I unfortunately do not have the Legends 1 figure. I just never was a fan of it. The, the gear was just so kind of, I don't know, not really popular or not really, you know, nostalgic feel for. So I didn't. I had it at one point because I was the only slaughter, but when this one came out, I got rid of it because, you know, uh, real estate is getting tight. But uh, as far as these head scans, uh, which one do you guys like better? So I'm going to say this one and this one are really similar. Different hair. You can see that's kind of uh, painted a little differently, but these two look similar. I'm guessing, so remember, we have that new one coming out fairly soon, the Elite 89, uh, the turncoat where he's a heel with uh, Colonel Mustafa and General Adnan. I'm, I'm thinking that's this head that's going to come on that figure. So we do have another slaughter coming a little different from the uh, GI Joe kind of American hero one and saving the best for last. So I know people uh, actually have gotten this figure a little earlier uh, from Mattel to kind of promote it. And you know, a lot of them didn't do this type of comparison and I'm excited to bring it to you. At least I haven't seen them. So we know that this figure sold out instantly and it was not only WWE fans, it was also GI Joe fans. So for those of you who collect, 
the G.I. Joe classified uh, six inch line. I do have a few of those figures to see how Sarge stacks up with them. So we have Duke. We have that Amazon exclusive roadblock. Additionally, we have the main villain himself, Cobra Commander. Let's move them all a little bit so you can kind of see them all side by side. So obviously Sarge is definitely going to scale a little bigger than the classified line. I know uh, the Valiverse is coming out uh, with that Sergeant Slaughter that I feel like we've been waiting on for a while. It's been delayed and delayed uh, with the Action Force line. That will probably fit better. But if you can't wait and you have a chance to grab this guy on the secondary market if you missed out, it's a great figure. I definitely think uh, it's passable. Sarge, you know, was a little bigger than the other Joes to begin with. So while it doesn't quite scale up perfectly, it definitely will look pretty good with the other G.I. Joe figures. Before we wrap up here, just a quick reminder, if you haven't already, please hit the like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel here for more great content. Uh, it really does help, my, uh, help me out. It helps me build my page and this brand. And it allows me to do more reviews for you and get more product for you. Um, so if you can help me out, I'd really appreciate that. Um, as far as this figure goes, I mean, I don't have to sell you guys too hard. I know I've been saying that in a lot of videos lately. This is a great figure. It comes with so many different great accessories. The Ultimate Edition line is on fire. Um, you know, I, I've, I'm a completist with that line, so I know a lot of you are. I have one, at least one of each, if not multiples of uh, a lot of these figures. And I don't know how long I'm going to be able to keep that up for because real estate really is getting tight on my end. But, you know, for those of you who did miss out on this figure, let me give you some advice. Um, you know, just keep checking the secondary market. This figure is just starting to ship now. Be a little patient. You know, the hype is there. The hype was there when he was released. Um, a lot of people really want this figure. Um, most people ordered two. Uh, personally, I'm keeping both of mine. I'm not selling them. I know some people probably bought one to keep, one to flip. Uh, but be patient. Uh, in the next few months, that price is going to drop. Uh, you just got to stay diligent. I, you know, unfortunately, it's part of the game as a collector. I know you're paying. Uh, I'm out there hunting. I'm going for these uh, store exclusives at Target and Walmart. Sometimes I'm lucky enough to have a buddy hook me up at cost plus shipping. And sometimes I pay a little more on, on eBay. But you know, it is what it is. It's part of the game. Um, if you really need this figure for your collection, just be patient. I'm sure he will go down in price. Uh, this costs $35 plus shipping. So you're looking at maybe 42 bucks with tax of what most people are paying. So if you're paying maybe $60, 70 to $80, and even $100, yeah, that guy's making a little bit of money, but it's not that crazy amount. Um, but, you know, this figure is great. If you can get your hands on it, I highly recommend it. And I think Mattel has heard your voice, uh, your voices. A lot of people were complaining they missed out, you know, not to mention all those G.I. Joe collectors jumped on this because it is Sergeant Slaughter, such an iconic figure. I think we will see another Ultimate Edition Sarge down the road. When? I don't know. I don't think it's going to be an exact version of this because, I mean, uh, that kind of just, you know, um, doesn't really sit right with the guys who actually score this figure as a, an, ex an exclusive. There has to be something different about it. So while it'll be a little similar, there will definitely be some tweaks. I think Steve mentioned that he is planning to kind of figure out a way to get Sarge in the Ultimate Edition line. Granted, it may be a while from now, maybe another year or two, but if you missed out on this figure and don't want to pay any more than retail, those are your best options. Um, so I guys, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Um, don't forget, follow me on Instagram as well. I'll be posting a ton more pictures of this guy um, and some fun ones as well. Thank you for checking out this review and take care.